Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be mapping out your entire Memorial Day weekend with the threat of severe weather in one part of the United States, and on the other side, we'll be watching for much colder weather and a potential tropical system. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with the Central Plains, which is an area that we've seen severe weather for the the last several days and this trend will continue especially across the Great Plains you'll notice already today there's already been some convection out there we've seen some showers and storms we're gonna see a lot more of that this afternoon and evening and as well as throughout Memorial Day weekend as we continue to see showers and storms develop and bubble up across the high plains and as well as even back into the northern plains it's a pretty large area that we're watching this weekend now you might notice back over in the Midwest there's really no cloud cover right now that is due to a very strong ridge in place this is gonna be bringing a heat wave and as well as much drier weather for the foreseeable future further down to the south and east of that we have a very interesting area that we're watching for a potential tropical development it's only a 10 percent chance over the next 48 hours however we are at least going to see some rain out of this potential for some flooding exists and we could see wind gusts get as high as 50 to 60 miles per hour on the coast and even some beach erosion and as well as rip currents will be very strong along the east coast over the next several days i'll talk about more on that later in this forecast but let's first begin with the severe weather potential for this weekend then we'll talk more about the rest of the country we're going to begin with the great plains and this is an area that we have a really large risk of severe weather today we actually have an enhanced risk of severe weather for those in new mexico in the hill country of texas you might notice there's also a large slight risk of severe weather from montana back through colorado there's also another one in new mexico and as well as texas again this spans across literally three countries it goes from canada back through mexico the main concerns for today though will be the threat for large to very large hail that's easily the greatest concern we could see a couple of storms especially down in southeast new mexico produce the potential for upwards of three inch to three and a half inch diameter hail and also the damaging wind threat is definitely there especially across areas in southeast new mexico but we are really watching two main areas for at least some widely scattered damaging winds especially from montana back through colorado our second area will be back in west texas and as well as southeast new mexico damaging winds up to 75 miles per hour are possible i wouldn't rule out an isolated 80 to 85 mile per hour wind gusts it's not out of the question the tornado risk as well for this afternoon and evening is interesting right now it's a five percent probability within a 25 mile radius in southeast new mexico as well as into west texas i wouldn't rule out though a strong tornado in this area it's not out of the question we kind of saw one the other day in new mexico with that storm near grady new mexico if you remember Reed timmer was chasing it that could be a similar situation to what we see today as well because we do have the right setup so you'll notice some of that here on the future radar as we take you hour by hour this afternoon Beginning with around 4 o'clock mountain time, that is when storms will start to fire up. A lot of these will be discreet, so the hail threat will definitely be maximized around this time with the damaging wind threat also existing. We might see an isolated tornado with one of these storms, but I think that threat will be a bit further down to the south and east, where there is a little bit more shear in place. So you'll notice by 6 o'clock, storms are moving through areas that really, we just saw storms the other day in. For Grady, New Mexico, for example, you just saw that massive discreet cell the other day that brought a tornado. There could be another one of those going into later this afternoon and evening. So again, around 6 o'clock mountain time. Once we get closer to 8 to 9 o'clock, storms will continue to move off to the east. They'll start approaching areas like Lubbock and as well as going maybe just south of Amarillo and as well as Midland, Texas. And eventually by midnight, storms will continue to move off to the east. You might notice there's an isolated chance for another supercell all behind the initial ones. That could also pose a threat for some large to very large hail. And for those in the hill country, we'll be watching for some storms to fire up again right around 5, 6 o'clock central time. Eventually going closer to 9 to 10 o'clock, storms will continue continue to move off to the east a lot of these again will be producing large hail back near big spring and midland that is where we could definitely see some large to very large hail some cells going closer to around 10 to 12 o'clock tonight eventually going to the overnight hours maybe an isolated storm still remaining main concern would be large hail now for the severe weather threat tomorrow things are going to remain pretty similar we're not really changing the location by any means it's just a very long and thin marginal risk of severe weather this is going to be mainly for the threat of damaging winds and large hail we very well could see maybe an isolated tornado as well for the timing with this we'll be watching for storms to fire up back over in the texas panhandle during the afternoon these will move off to the east into oklahoma most of these will weaken out by sunset there might still be a couple of severe storms though with damaging winds and eventually going into the overnight hours this complex of storms will just weaken and move down to the south and east where we might still see some thunder and lightning out there if you want to look at a little light show but again there's nothing really crazy there will not be any severe weather by then now going into sunday again we're getting closer to memorial day there will be a threat of severe 
severe weather pretty much in the same exact area this is going to be the weather pattern for the next several days when it comes to severe weather it's literally going to be in the same area we have a marginal threat again in the same exact areas that we just mentioned damaging winds large hail maybe an isolated tornado are the main threats across that long large area and i know many of you are wondering what does memorial day actually look like in terms of the temperatures will i see any rain etc etc well let me take you through the jet stream farts this is what really controls the weather pattern for the next several days you'll notice going into this weekend a very large ridge is still in place over the midwest that's keeping those areas dry we do have an upper level disturbance with that low pressure system in the southeastern united states that's associated with that low pressure system off the coast at the surface and then back over into the rocky mountains we also have another low pressure system that is bringing the threat of severe weather over the next several days and this weather pattern will continue into next week nothing's really going to change that drastically you'll notice going into monday right around memorial day that is where that low pressure system is is right down there in the southeast united states ridge is still back up in the midwest but one thing i do want to talk about for the long term here is that we'll be watching for some short wave ejections going into next week down in the southwest united states and if any of them eject into the central plains we could see a few severe weather outbreaks but right now that threat does seem very low at this time but if it does happen there's definitely gonna be a chance for some significant severe weather you'll notice a little one right there going into late wednesday that would be a weak low pressure system negatively tilted which is perfect but again it's weak it's not very strong so we probably would not see any significant severe weather out of that we might see something going into next weekend but again things continue to stay very 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 calm across the united states when it comes to severe weather with this omega block pattern now for the temperatures this weekend and into early next week one thing to keep in mind is that we could see temperatures upwards of 20 to 30 degrees below average in the southeast united states i'm not joking i mean this is with that little tropical system that's trying to develop we'll have strong winds coming out of the northeast that'll essentially keep that area cooler and then you'll notice back up here in the midwest we're going to continue to have that massive ridge and this is essentially going to keep these areas all well above average i mean we're going to be seeing high temperatures upwards of 10 to 15 degrees above average we could even see some record-breaking highs as well in the northern plains you'll notice going into sunday this trend continues very cold air in the southeast back down the southern plains cold air does continue and then eventually going to monday you might notice by the thumbnail there will be a much colder area of air back down in texas and as well as oklahoma and that will continue as well back over into areas in the carolinas and anywhere in the mid-atlantic region and as well as the southeast slightly below average temperatures will continue with the heat wave not ending anytime soon for the midwest and this trend will really continue all the way through the end of the week i mean we're really not going to see major changes with the weather pattern that we have right now which for some of you you might be thinking great news for others it's not really great news it just depends on what kind of side you're on and if you like warmer cold temperatures you need to be in one place or another there's really no in between right now across the united states now for the two points over the next several days in terms of the moisture this weekend it's going to be very interesting we still have that massive ridge in the midwest that is creating very strong southerly winds out of the gulf of mexico that's bringing moisture into the 50s and 60s for dew points up into the great plains and as well as into southern canada and then also that low pressure system will start to spin some moisture inland across areas in the carolinas but again this trend will continue through the weekend into early next week some more moisture will return to the midwest but it's not going to be a whole lot dew points into the upper 40s and maybe some 50s and eventually going into next weekend dew points will start to creep up a bit more back down in the southeast united states with some areas getting into the low 70s for dew points which would definitely make it a lot more oppressive in those areas thank you so much for watching make sure to like the video and subscribe if you've not already this forecast is brought to you by platinum contracting